Hi boys and girls, time for tennis, badminton, and paddle, lesson number two. Today, we're going to be hitting over something to try to land it in something. We're also going to be warming up with hitting it up, hitting it down. Except for badminton, we're only going to hit it up. Because in badminton, it's not supposed to hit the ground. Badminton's all volleys. We talked about that in the last class. So... Here I go. I'm shaking hands with that racket. Hello, Mr. Racket. Miss Racket. Good to see you. I'm going to hit it up. A oh, one, a oh, two, a oh, three, a oh, four, a oh, five, a oh, six, a oh, seven, a oh, eight, a oh, nine, a oh, ten. We're trying to get ten in a row. And then I'm going to flip it over and hit it backwards. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now, boys and girls, don't expect to be able to do that right away. I've been doing this for since I was 10. So, about 90 years. A little more than 90, but that's okay. Anyway, if you get really good at it, though, you need a challenge. See if I can do it. Oh, it's hard. Try to hit it with the side of your racket. I know I can do this. I've done it many times in my life, so let's see if I can again. Oh. Oh, there it is. Oh, oh, there it is. Oh, 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 there it was. So that's with the tennis racket. It's got a badminton racket. Yes, I do. I have a badminton racket. Shake hands with it. Hello. And since we serve like this in badminton, I want to flip it over and pop it up. One, oh, two, three, four, five, Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Catch. Never take your hand, your eyes off that. Now, so I did it this way to start. Now I'm going to do it the other side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now I haven't played quite as much badminton, but I did play some back in college. And then we have the paddle. This would be mom's frying pan, which is kind of heavy. So if you can find a light one, that'd be even better. I'm gonna start with the forehand side. Shake hands. Hello. Forehand side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And then the other side. One, two, three, four. Oh, 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 oh. I didn't hit hard enough. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Got it. All right. With your tennis racket, we're going to be starting by tossing the ball over something non-dominant. Now, you can only do this for real if you have another person that's going to hit the ball back to you. But... If you have something you can toss it into, that'd work too. All right? So, you're going to take your racket, and you're going to practice tossing into your laundry basket. All right? Non-dominant toss into your laundry basket. And then the next step is to hold your racket, if you have a tennis racket, to your forehand side, turn, Hold the ball out and tap it to try to make it land into your laundry basket. This is your dominant side. We call that your forehand side. You're going to take it, tap it, oh, right into the laundry basket. All right? See if you can hit it over, over a couch or a couple chairs set up. Put your laundry basket over the, on the other side, and we'll call that a net. All right? There you go. Now, I also want you to try to do this with the backhand. But to do that, you're going to have to let the ball bounce. Bounce, tap, into the laundry basket. And, of course, some of you have siblings that you can use a net with. And then you can hit it back and forth. Try that again. Toss it up, let it 
and then mount and hit into the laundry basket. Good shot, Mr. Russellton. Better get my ball out of the laundry basket. So there you go, that's step number two with the tennis racket. And here I am with the badminton racket. Now the badminton serve is a little weird. All right, so I'm still gonna hold it like this, but I'm gonna take the racket like this and go back here and I'm gonna hit it right out of my hand. Of course, you wanna get your hand out of the way. Boing! Oh, good shot, Mr. Osselton. So that, you serve in badminton with a backhand grip. You're holding the racket like this and then you flip it backwards. Right here it comes again, right into that laundry basket over the chair. Flip. Good. I also want you to hit the forehand side, guys. So the forehand side goes like this on the on the Batman racket. Hold it here, and then I'm gonna tap it right into that laundry basket over top of the chair. Yeah, is this easy? <laughs> no way. But that's okay. You're practicing how to hit it. And then of course. I have my paddle, and this is exactly the same as the tennis racket, except for a smaller area. So I'm going to have it in my hand, I'm going to tap it, tap it, try to make it land in the laundry basket. And then when we do it backwards, I'm probably going to have to bounce it hard. Oh, oh, there it goes, right into that laundry basket. Fantastic. All right. One last thing. With the tennis ball or the racket with the or the uh, paddle with the paddle ball, we're going to do bouncing hitting it down. With the badminton racket, we're going to keep hitting it up and see how many we can get. Can you get more than 10? How about 20? 25? So here comes the tennis racket. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-two, twenty-three. Can you tell I've done this before? <laughs> All right. So those are your downs. And then of course you could do your ups that we started with. We're gonna do that with the badminton racket. Flip it up and keep hitting it in the air. And that's our warm down for our tennis badminton and paddle today. I have plenty more, don't worry. Think about your driveway. Think about your courtyard. If you're in a department, think about getting someone else to come out with you because that's where sports become fun. If you can get someone else out with you. Still do it alone. I'm looking for somebody. Hmm. The only thing I got is the grass cutting guy. Oh well. See you guys soon. Looks like it's going to be fun. Bye.